What's happening gang? My name's Nando Brown from the School of Canine Science and for the next week we're going to run you through a series of videos describing our upcoming September 1st course, The Puppy Lab. Now when you get in, the very first module that you're going to come across is puppy development. We're going to talk through prenatal, neonatal, the transitional and the sensitive period to socialisation, among a few other things as well. Now, Prenatal is minus 63 days up until birth. And you're gonna be surprised at some of the things that will affect how that puppy behaves for the rest of its life pre-birth. Apart from that, you've then got neonatal, which is when the first pups, uh, when the pups are first born, and what we can do to actually improve those puppies' confidence during that stage. The transitional period, a really, really short period in development in terms of time, but the amount that goes on in that period is enormous. And then we've got the sensitive period to socialization, every dog trainer's favorite part. Now this is a monster element and actually we've had to split it into do two different parts where we discuss things like stress inoculation. And that might be the key as to why we're seeing so many reactive dogs these days. Anyway, let's take a look at one of the tiny sections in this monstrous module. So Bagatelli found that when she did all these different experiences with the puppies, she found that they uh, res it resulted in puppies that were better at problem solving, um, that were able to regulate their adrenal glands a little bit better, that had better immune systems as well. So she found that it was really a lot better for the puppies to go through that mild graduated stress in order to kind of face the daily challenges that most dogs have to go through. Now, if we fast forward a little bit, as happens in science regularly, this idea was challenged and it was challenged by um, a group of people and shoe nettle what they did is they took the ns and they took some mine detection dogs um, at the global trade center and the global trade trade center had their own way of, of of kind of getting the puppies ready anyway and so they looked at 10 litters and they exposed half of them to ens and half of them to the um the gtc's standard way of, of raising puppies and then followed them throughout their careers to see what the differences might be in the two groups of puppies. Now they found that there was pretty much no, no difference at all and that the ENS hadn't helped those puppies to be more robust or more resilient as adult dogs. But one of the reasons that could be is that the GTC's own operational services have a protocol that is is already pretty good when it comes to stress inoculation. So they're already having the same level of maternal separation as well as all the different tactile stuff. It's just not in that ENS form. <laughs> 